The biggest problem you face when designing cycling wheels is that aerodynamic testing is very time consuming. The reason for this is that wheel design has always been a very manual process. A designer creates a physical prototype or CFD model, tests it, and then manually makes a change hoping to find an improvement. Ultimately your product suffers because you are limited to the number of shapes you can test. When we sat down to design our new wheel line, we knew we had to solve this problem. The first thing we needed to understand was, how does a cyclist interact with the wind? In order to answer this question, we built a highly accurate custom data logger that allowed us to record yaw angle and relative velocity measurements every second while riding our bike. We rode this data logger on four Ironman courses, including Kona, and in a variety of riding scenarios, such as drafting and riding along the coast. In total, we collected 110,000 data points. We used to believe that a cyclist spent 80% of their time riding between 10 and 20 degrees of yaw. After analyzing the data, we realized that the exact opposite was true. We now know that regardless of where you're riding, a cyclist spends 80% of their time between 0 and 10 degrees of yaw. This told us that we needed to design cycling wheels that were fast at low yaw angles. In order to eliminate the time-consuming process of aerodynamically testing cycling wheels, we needed to do three things. First, we needed to create a system that could automatically generate its own rim shapes. Secondly, this system needed to make intelligent decisions about the changes it was making. And finally, we needed a computer system that was powerful enough to handle a project of this size. To do this, we worked with the engineering team at CD Adapco. Not only do they have industry-leading CFD software, they had the supercomputer we needed. Using a list of design parameters, we built a custom algorithm that intelligently tested 500 prototypes to find the fastest rim shapes. Using a standard desktop computer, these calculations would have taken four and a half years to complete. In comparison, our original flow wheels took only 28 days. In the end, we completely redesigned the existing flow 60, 90, and disc and designed an entirely new carbon clincher line featuring a flow 45, 60, 90, and disc that is not only faster, but nearly a pound lighter per set. To validate our work, we took our wheels to the A2 wind tunnel in North Carolina. Here are a few highlights from our testing. All of our new wheels tested faster than our 2012 models. Our new Flow 60 carbon clincher is up to 28% faster than our original Flow 60, and our new Flow 45 is faster than our original Flow 90 at only half the depth. You can find all of our wind tunnel data and time-saving estimates on our website. Be sure to check them out. The feedback we've been getting from riders and reviewers is excellent. We think you're truly going to love this product and it's something we're proud to call our own.